This video outlines the setup procedures for the ASGO Volking Vulcanizing Press in a single platen arrangement. Position the bars and recess spaces on the setup template supplied with the press. There is no top or bottom to the H200 bars. The correct bar spacing bias angle are automatically established with the use of the setup templates. Install the restraining bars. With the retaining pin removed from one end, slide the bar through each traverse bar and install the retaining pin. Position the lower platen into place. Using the T-handles for this is optional. Once the platens are in position, remove the handles. Check to make sure the platens are centered in both directions over the bars. Place a sheet of release paper on top of the platen. Remove the rubber dust covers from the platen electrical receptacles. To install the platen cables, rotate the plug latches open. Push the plug firmly into the platen receptacle socket. Rotate the latches closed to hold the plug in place. On these and larger arrangements, it may be easier to install the bottom platen electrical cables at this point, before the splice has been prepared. Assemble the splice. Install edge irons and fill in any open areas of platen with pieces of equal thickness belt. Place another sheet of release paper on top of the splice. Position the upper or top platen into place. Using the T-handles for this is optional. Once the platens are in position, remove the handles. Carefully align the top platen with the bottom platen, ensuring that the electrical receptacles are at the same end. Install the pressure bags over the top platen. Install the bag plate on top of the pressure bag. Remove the rubber dust covers from the platen electrical receptacles. To install the platen cables, rotate the plug latches open. Push the plug firmly into the platen receptacle socket. Rotate the latches closed to hold the plug in place. Install the water supply lines and drain lines to cool the press after the cook is completed. Connect the pressure bag hose to the pressure bag quick coupler. Make sure that all quick couplers are properly connected. Position the top bars to be ensure they are aligned with the bottom bars. Install the restraining bars. The top bars should be positioned parallel across the top of the press. Install the tie bolts. The square nuts must fit within the nut retaining lugs on the traverse bars. Tighten the shank to the tie bolt by hand only. For safety purposes, insert pins to prevent the bolt assembly from sliding out. Control panel operation. Lift the receptacle dust cover and insert the control panel end of the platen cables into the receptacles and press firmly. Ensure that the platen switch of the main control panel is in the off position before connecting to the power supply. Insert the main supply plug into the receptacle and connect this cable to the correct power supply. The controllers on the front panel will display the actual platen temperature. This demonstration will show the air pressure control setup. 
In actual use, this can be done with either air or water pressure. Open the watertight lid to the control box. Plug in the built-in thermal coupler. Unscrew the thumb screw and open the watertight cover to the main circuit breaker. Turn switch on. If pressurizing with air, connect the manifold adapter to the air control assembly using the supply hose. Using the air supply, pressurize the airbag to required pressure. Close the combination air release pressure relief valve by moving the toggle to the horizontal position. Connect the compressed air supply line to the tank valve and apply air until the desired pressure is reached as indicated on the gauge. Turn the platen switch to the auto position. It is possible to override the controller by switching the platen switch to manual. The switch has a spring return to the off position so that the platen cannot be left on. By toggling through the display screen using the buttons, you can get information and adjust the settings. Instructions on how to adjust the settings can be found in the manual. Air is released by moving the toggle to the vertical position. This concludes the setup for the Vulcan Vulcanizer. Always refer to the detailed instructions in your operating manual supplied with your Vulcanizer.